trial over Cockerell's right to be heard, brought the first France a rooster named Maurice, whose early morning crowing has thought under the skin of neighbors on the French island of Oleron, was at the center of the court battle on Thursday that has raised howls of protest in the countryside. Maurice himself was not present for the proceedings in the western town of Ross the first, and nor were his accusers, a retired couple with a holiday home on the picturesque island who claimed his own chorus rouses them from their slumber. But feathered fans of the celebrity cockerel were on parade outside the courthouse, among them a chicken called Tom Hader and giant brown rooster called Jean Rene. France's national emblem the case has attracted attention not only because the rooster is one of France's national emblems, but because the complaint is seen by some as an attack on the countryside's traditional sounds and way of life. The couple's lawyer, however, rejected the characterization of the case as a battle between Bobo's Verdois Bohemians and Contrafic. My clients lied in a haunting estate. If not the countryside, Vincent Huber be argued. Maurice's owner, Serene Fessial, who has been living on Oleron Island for 35 years, told French radio she had taken to locking up her bird at night and lined his shed with his boxes to try to block the light and so, stop him crowing but all to no avail. Out of 40 neighbors there are only two who are bothered by it, her lawyer, Julian Petillau, told the court. Petillau defended the cockerel's right to make himself heard. He crows and I think it's brave. Long life nature, she said. Tensions between locals and holiday homeowners are nothing new in rural France, but Maurice's case has become something of a cockerel as well. Today, it's the cockerel, but what will it be tomorrow? Seagull? The noise of the wind? Our accent? Said Christa Fischer, mayor of St. Pierre de Oleron where Maurice and his owner lie, in comments to Agent France Press, AFP, last month. The growing wealth gap between rural and urban France has been at the heart of weekly yellow vest demonstrations which began in November last year. Maurice, who has his own Facebook page, appeared in a luminous yellow vest in one post in November expressing solidarity with the protesters. The trial has raised tempers, with the mayor of the Castellus penning a furious open letter in May in defense of the rights of church bells to ring, cows to move, and donkeys to break throughout rural France. Part of heritage when I go into town, I don't ask them to remove the traffic lights and cars, Mayor Bruno, Diana Fletcher, who is a retired farmer, told AFP. Those newly arrived from the city who complained about noise or smell, he wrote, were like fools who discovered that eggs don't grow on trees. That could lead to it being protected as intangible world culture on a list kept by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.